Good morning, everybody. I want to talk to you about some things that drive me crazy and I'm passionate about. It's maintenance. It's maintenance. It costs a little bit of money, but it, it don't cost what this guy's about to absorb because of his lack of. I want to show you some cooling system problems. He brought this into me with a coolant leak, and when I see an overflow bottle or a overflow bottle that looks like that and it's got sludge in it like that, it's not a good sign. His leak, and I'll show you a video of it, is the back of this pipe. And this pipe goes at the back of the head, it goes down inside. We've removed the intake manifold to get to it, and we still have to remove the exhaust. But in that video, it's rusted through this seam right here. Because the inside of this cooling system is just corroded to the max. But then, you know, he also had some uh, codes for air, the air intake, and you look at this thing. I mean, look at this. These flappers, those things ain't moved. This is the drive motor for these, uh, for these flappers. Those things ain't moved in years. And so we've got all kinds of stuff that we're finding, but basically it's lack of maintenance. But I want to talk to you about, I want to tell you a story. So the story is, a farmer goes out into the field and he's plowing, he's going moving along with his truck and all of a sudden his truck gets stuck in the mud. And he's like, he gets off the truck, he runs to the barn, he hollers at his son and he says, son, he says, go grab the, uh, go grab the chain in the other tractor and come pull me out. They go out there, they hook it up, they're pulling on it and all of a sudden that rusty old chain that's been laying on the, on the floor of that barn for 20 years snaps, almost takes his kid's head off. And what snaps? One link of that chain. So the farmer's got to make a decision. Does he want to replace the one link in that chain and risk taking his kid's head off again? Or does he want to replace the whole chain? The moral of that story is whenever I have a cooling system with a corroded uh, metal hose or a bad hose or anything like that, the thing that I have to explain to the customer is there's, there's hoses and piping all over this for cooling system. They've all been compromised. So, as a mechanic or a shop owner, it's our job to ha have that story with the customer to say, look, we're replacing what's leaking right now. Give them a cost. It's too much on this engine. I have to pull the whole engine out and tear it all down. So we're just going to put a Band-Aid on this thing, one link. But you got to tell the customer, that's all we've done. And uh, this, this should have never happened. If, this, if people would come in for their oil changes, Double what the manufacturer recommends. Let's talk about that one there. That's another one. Let's step down here and I'll talk to you about that. I'm an engine shop. I'm the largest one in, in Utah. And, and we do a ton of engines. And it's, it's part of my business. But I'll tell you, half of them are done because people don't do the maintenance on these trucks. I know the manufacturer says, you know, change your oil at 10,000 miles on a diesel. Why do they do that? They don't care how long, it, they, they got to get that thing through the warranty. That's all they care about. You want to get that thing through the full life of that car. You double up your oil changes. Change your oil with uh, the synthetic blend, the, the manufacturer's recommended blend, but change it twice as often. The transmissions, there's another great one. You know, BMW, they, they got this thing where they uh, lifetime fluid in their transmission. So I tell a customer and I want to, flush their fluid that looks like crap and change their filter in the tranny, the customer sometimes comes to me and they say, oh, I called the dealer and the dealer told me it's lifetime fluid in there. So I say, well, call the dealer back and ask them how long the warranty is on that lifetime fluid. And of course, it's three or 36,000 miles. They don't care that the fluid doesn't, is, 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 is bad for the tranny after 36,000 miles. It's out of warranty. They want to sell you another car. Do the maintenance. Okay, so here's this coolant leak. You can see it running down there. It's coming out of the pipe right here. And this is at the back of the cylinder head. This is hard to get a, a shot of this. But look how rusty and corroded that water is. I'm, I'm looking at that going, well, no wonder it's leaking. Now listen, this maintenance thing, get a good shop. Look over your maintenance, what the manufacturer recommends. But remember, what the manufacturer recommends is not going to give you the full life of that vehicle. They don't care about you getting your money's worth out of that vehicle. They just want that thing through the warranty. And then they want to sell you another car.